Khabib, blast Kobe, RDA wants Conor McGregor, Kai Kara France gunning for a title shot, all this and more in today's MMA rumor. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on the latest fight news. Let's get to it. 1. Habib slams Kobe Covington as Jorge Masvidal enters a not guilty plea. Charges stemming from the violent altercation that happened earlier this week outside of Miami restaurant have gotten Jorge Masvidal in trouble with the law. He surrendered to police on Wednesday over the incident and is now entering a plea of not guilty. It's all because of what took place at about 10.30 p.m. local time in Miami outside the Poppy Steak restaurant in which Masvidal is accused of running behind Colby Covington and hitting him several times, fracturing his tooth and leaving his wrist hurt. Masvidal chose to give himself up two days later. He now faces two felony charges including second degree felony, aggravated battery and criminal mischief. Masvidal pled not guilty and posted $15,000 in bail. Gamebred could also face up to 15 years in jail and or a $10,000 fine if he's found guilty. Earlier this month, both Masvidal and Kobe fought for 25 minutes and by the end, Kobe was declared the winner via unanimous decision. But the lead up and even the aftermath of the fight saw a lot of trash talk, especially from Kobe's side, who mentioned Masvidal's family and kids on multiple occasions given how much he knows about Gamebred through their years as good friends and housemates. Now, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the former undefeated lightweight champion, is weighing in on the whole situation and completely on Masvidal's side here. This is what he tweeted out. If you are stronger than someone inside the octagon, it does not mean you can insult his children. No one has the right to insult someone's family. Once you have gone down this path, then be ready to back up your words. You were attacked by a professional fighter, the same as you are, your own size, and you go press charges against him to the police? I think all the welterweights should refuse to fight Kobe. Just don't accept fights with him. Let him sit without a fight. It'll probably significantly affect him and all fighters who even think of insulting families who is provoking the fighters to look for someone in restaurants to deal with him. What do you think about Habib's statement regarding Kobe and Masvidal? Let us know in the comments below. 2. RDA calling for a Conor McGregor fight in the battle of the ex-lightweight champs. Rafael Dos Anjos won the lightweight title back in 2015, having beaten Anthony Pettis in 25 minutes. Conor McGregor won the title when he starched Eddie Alvarez in the second round back in 2016. McGregor plans to return to action later this year, and RDA is saying he'd love to get a crack at Conor in a bout that he believes makes total sense. Conor is still recovering from a leg injury, but the UFC wants to bring him back in the late summer, uh, early fall. It remains the question whom the UFC would match Conor up against. And while there has been talk about Conor fighting for a title, odds are that the UFC is going to have him fight someone else before that happens. RDA says bring it one. This is what he said in a recent interview for Super Lutas on YouTube, a Portuguese MMA show. This is what he said. Conor is the guy who deals the cards. He speaks to whomever he needs to and a fight happens. Now, he's trying to get a fight against Usman but I don't think that makes any sense. He's the star of the promotion but he hasn't won a fight in a while. The UFC needs to give him a fight which he has great chances of winning. We're the only former undisputed lightweight champions who are still active. Poirier is a former interim champ, Oliveira won a vacant belt. The only guys to beat champions were me and Conor. I think this fight would have appeal. Let's see how this one plays out because this would be a great match to watch as Rafael just came out of a 5 round decision win against Renato Moicano but he can still have his fight against Rafael Fiziev rebooked after the latter dropped out of their scheduled bout due to COVID-19. But what do you think about RDA saying he and Conor should fight upon McGregor's return? Do you want to see this fight and who has the advantage here? Let us know in the comments. Before we get to our next story. Take a second to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest fight news. 3. Kai Kara France could be just one win away to the title shot as he gets set to face Oscar Askarov. Kai Kara France has been on a roll in the flyweight division winning back to back fights via first round knockout. One of these wins was against Cody Garbrandt, the former bantamweight champion back in December. Cody was making his debut at 125 pounds and Kara France welcomed him by knocking him out in just over 90 seconds. After that win, there was chatter that Kai could have a path to the flyweight title. Fighting a guy like Oscar Askarov will get him there. The Russian is undefeated in his career except for one split draw decision against former champion Brandon Moreno back in 2019. Since then, 
he's won three straight all by decision. Kai is ready to make a statement against Askarov in this Saturday's ESPN 33 Fight Night event. He made that clear during the media event ahead of the fight in which he stated this. I didn't want to wait around for a title fight and wait and hope for things to happen and things to align. I just wanted to get back in there and show why I deserve to be the next guy. Taking out one of the toughest guys in the division will put me in position where I won't be overlooked. What do you think of Kai's comments ahead of Saturday's fight against Oscar Askarov? And who do you think is going to win this fight? Let us know in the comments below. There's always so much going on in the fight world and we got it all here for you on MMA Rumor. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all things MMA. Thanks for watching.